my hall closet has been giving me the ick. I drink one cup of pomegranate juice now every night. I'm about to get my eyebrows did. Here is the dreaded closet. I also take a shot every time I send fertility in this freaking hall. By the way, this feels so good to do. Hello everybody, it is Dingle here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing super super duper well and today my friends I am running a little late so I gotta go. I am about to get my eyebrows did. I have been getting my eyebrows done at the Benefit Brow Bar ever since I lived in Seattle actually. They always do an amazing job and they're super consistent every time I go. I really really like them and you can usually find a Benefit Brow Bar nearly everywhere if you have like a major mall or an Ulta or something like that. So I'm about to go in. Here's that before and let's see what they look like after and after. Oh my gosh, she does such a good job. I'm always a little red after so that'll calm down but I just feel like my face is framed so much better when I have my brows done and I definitely push it. I feel like I push it to the last possible moment when I don't have any shape left whatsoever but I always feel so fresh. But right now I'm close to my target so I can't possibly not go in, you know? But the thing that sparked it was I saw a TikTok this morning of these ribbed biker shorts that they have for like $12. And I know I want at least another couple pairs of biker shorts going into summertime. I have a couple black pairs that I really like, but some fun color ones would be great also to kind of pair with some other colorful things during the summer. So let's go investigate that. Let's see if my target has them at all. <laughs> Sunday. We actually had a very eventful weekend and I didn't bring the camera because we were just spending time with family But we drove about three hours down to my cousin's house Which you guys see them in vlogs occasionally and we hung out with the kids and my cousins and we ordered Thai food Jack and my dad and Greg enjoyed some wine It was just a lovely time and we had a little sleepover and we drove back today And at first I really did not feel like going grocery shopping and we did not feel like cleaning either we're just like so zonked and thrown off by the weekend. Uh, uh. <laughs> then I also, after spending like three-ish hours in the car, couldn't yeah. really fathom like just sitting down again and like not getting up. So I went grocery shopping to stretch our legs and it actually felt pretty good. It did. Yeah, I wanted to show you guys our grocery haul because last week I don't think I showed you a grocery haul. But there are things that we bought last week that are going to carry over into this week as well as just any of the following weeks that I think are going to be staples for us. Because they're good foods for fertility that I'm trying to incorporate into my week and my days. Because if you got to eat, you got to eat, you know? Yeah, that PBR is really good. <laughs> Totally bummed. So I want to show you guys that. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I was getting a monthly needed bed rub because she was deprived. She was so sad. She did it. not know. Is one of her favorites? Hi, honey. First, we got a butt ton of Jack's Oikos yogurt. Guys, Oikos Pro is so good. Jack loves this stuff. He has like two every single morning. It's like thick and creamy, high in protein. Got black beans. Beans and legumes are great for fertility. This will be incorporated into a skillet that I'm making for my lunch this week. Great northern beans. We're making white chicken chili this week. Green chilies. Cream cheese. 
pomegranate juice. I drink one cup of pomegranate juice now every night because it helps with blood flow. So that's always good for fertility as well. If you know, you know, you know. Caesar salad kits, we're gonna have those tonight for dinner, for an easy dinner. Lavash bread, multigrain bread. We usually get one pig's fly sourdough, but having as many multigrains and whole grains as you can is really good for fertility. And then avocados are also really good in eggs. So this week I'm going to be eating whole grain bread with avocado and egg for breakfast. Eggs, bananas, a tomato, raspberries, good fertility food, strawberries, cheddar cheese, sweet potatoes, another great fertility food. These are going into that skillet I was talking about for lunch this week. And then instead of just regular chicken broth, we started getting bone broth, chicken bone broth, because that is also extremely good for fertility. So just these substitutions are doing us some good. Limes, corn, avocados. Again, very good for fertility. Peanut butter, baby bell peppers. These are for a recipe, but also fresh veggies and hummus. Very good snack for fertility. Pineapple passion fruit uh -huh. Pineapple passion fruit uh -huh. And that brings me to pineapple. We had a fresh pineapple in the house last week and it was one, delicious. I would say the most stereotypical foods that women will eat more of for fertility purposes are pineapple and pomegranate juice. Those are the two most well-known or stereotypical ones. So every week we are now carrying fresh pineapple in the house. Chicken breast toothpaste, sugar-free ketchup, cocktail sauce, because shrimp, weirdly, didn't know this, shrimp is also great for fertility, so we have a massive bag of shrimp from last week, and instead of just incorporating it into meals, I think shrimp with some cocktail sauce, I would totally eat that as a snack, so it's just some extra protein. Broccoli, diced tomatoes, plain Greek yogurt, anywhere I can get this in also for some healthy fats and just really great nutrients, fertility goodness. More sweet potatoes, a yellow onion, and that is it, my friends. I should have said this at the beginning, but if I didn't specifically call out a food that's known for fertility, also take a shot every time I said fertility in this freaking haul, <laughs> then that's just part of our normal grocery haul. But I did point out the foods that we are introducing more into my diet. The key for me is enjoying and liking the recipes versus just eating like plain sweet potato, for example, just to get sweet potato in. So instead of doing a russet potato for our homemade french fries that we do, they're not fry, they're just like baked. But instead of doing a russet potato for those, I've switched over to a sweet potato to get sweet potato in more. And all the pineapple, all the palm juice, all the beans, deliciousness. If you guys have any go-to foods that you like to eat for fertility purposes, leave them in the comments below. I would love to know. And hello, my friends. It is Tuesday right now. And my hall closet has been giving me the ick for like ages now. I haven't tried reorganizing or decluttering that closet since moving in. We did an organization situation when we moved into this apartment, but since then there are these like two bins mainly that just are overflowing with stuff. It's never easy to get anything out of it or anything like that. I decluttered one of them the other day because I couldn't even stand it anymore, but then I stopped because I realized that I love watching this stuff. So just in case anyone else out there loves decluttering, organizing, that type of thing. I'm gonna film the rest of it. On Sunday, we ended up going to Best Buy to get Jack canned air because he wanted to dust out his PC. But while we were out, we went to Target so I could get myself an extra bin. Because I think if I can put all of my like fertility related stuff in there, that'll free up some space of the overflowing buckets. And then there's just some organization in general that I wanna do with this. Here is the dreaded closet. And I don't know why we don't just keep the door closed. <laughs> at the end of the hallway. I think that's why I've been just kind of avoiding the situation because it's not awful. It's just I don't love loose items anywhere and we've got like some loose items here. Here are all my tests from the other week, which I still have to show you guys those. This is the bin that was absolutely overflowing and I still think some of this stuff doesn't make sense in this bin. Then this is the bin that I got from Target. Originally, this bin over here was going to be just extra bathroom stuff like whitening strips, makeup remover wipes, and then extra tubes of toothpaste we might have and things like that. And this was going to be hair slash like brushing. Like if you have to brush your teeth or brush your hair, like this is kind of that situation. But I don't 
think that it stayed that way because there's also self tanner stuff in here. But I think I wanna revert this back to kind of the hair bin, whether it's shaving or brushing your hair, and then I think tooth stuff should go in there instead. I think a lot of this stuff, like these um, at home, easy at home tests and stuff, like all the tests and everything going in there will free up a lot of space in here. Testing stuff back there as well. And then up here, I think these bins just need some organizing. I think we use everything in here, but obviously as I go through this stuff, we will be cluttering. We've got all of the household cleaning and things like that down here, towels and blankets. The Home Edit also just came out with their second season. So to say that I've been inspired by that second season is an understatement. I freaking love that show. It's so good. It's on Netflix if you haven't watched it. It's so much fun. But I think I'm gonna follow their method, which is editing first, and that means like clearing out things that you really don't need to be holding on to, categorizing things, and then getting to the organizing and like putting them in bins and stuff. So let's get to editing. <laughs> So it looks like chaos right now, but I, I feel good about the organization that ended up happening. By the way, this feels so good to do. I am like excited doing this right now. So I feel like the longer we put things off again, like I was saying about the Goodwill pile that I had on my dining room table, it just feels so much more daunting the more we put it off. As soon as I pulled out that first bin and started editing it and then like doing this organization here, it feels so good. Please do this if you have a closet that you've been wanting to do this for a while. Here are the categories that we've got. We've got reproductive health, girl health, that type of thing over here. These are our two travel bags that we take every single time that we travel. So those are there. Here I have deemed skin. That means anything, like skin, makeup, remover wipes, lotions, cleansers, and tanning, all skin related. Over here, we've got teeth and other hygiene related things. We've got cotton swabs, we've got an earwax removal kit. Never used it, but I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> apparently you're not supposed to use Q-tips. They're not very good for you, but Jack really likes using Q-tips, so we still have them, but I wanna give this a try because I don't like pushing the wax like into my ear, you know? Anyway. TMI. And then over here, we have everything hair related. I've got waxing strips over there. I've got my razors, my Billy refill razors, some travel razors, hair clips, hair serums, hair products, Galore, shaving, hair related stuff. And then these are two miscellaneous things. We've got sleep gummies, jewelry, cleaner situation. So those are miscellaneous. So I feel like with this knowledge of what's going on in here, I think I'm going to put that hair stuff back in there, skin stuff, in here. I also think this stuff can go in with the skin stuff. And then female reproductive and health things in this new basket. Let's get into it.
may not seem like a massive transformation, but to me this looks and feels so much better. Ideally, I would have containers to empty out the paper towels and toilet paper into, so we would have like cute containers, so maybe that's something I'll grab. Because the original packaging isn't necessarily the most eye-pleasing, you know? But otherwise, oh my gosh. Literally, there is a place for everything. The only container I don't really love that much is this one because you can kind of see through it. Not kind of, you literally can see everything through it. So I might replace this one. I've had this one for years and years and years. So I think it's time to replace it with just something that is a little less see-through, maybe just like one of these or something. Like I said before, we've got teeth and skin things in here. We've got all hair and shaving products in here, all women's reproductive health things in here. These are our travel cases up here. These are two, um, um, like pet cat things. So everything fit in here nicely. We've got excess room in that. This is all excess like skincare samples and things like that as well as some nail polishes I've had before Olive in June. And then this is my Olive in June kit here for my nails. Down here is all household products slash towels like um, kitchen towels and bath towels, things like that, like um, hand towels. And then I just went ahead and refolded these things. It can get in such disarray, but I've got refolded blankets and refolded towels so they just look and stack a lot nicer. Also, ideally, I would be able to lift up all of this wallpaper that our like owner, the renter, landlord person has in here and just repaint every single one of these shelves, just a nice clean white. But we're just renting, we don't own this place. And even if I wanted to ask, that's a lot of effort to put into something that is not ours and we won't get to keep. So here it is, this is it in all of its glory, green floral wallpaper. Don't really know what happened there. And then over here, we never iron anything, honestly. So we haven't touched this in years and years and years. So I'm going to Goodwill that. And then there's just a couple things that we haven't again touched in forever. So just like random, like a sponge and like maybe some candles that I've actually had for like eight years or so. It just has traveled with us from our Stanford apartment to Seattle and now to Maine. So I'm just gonna get rid of them. And then I ended up taking a lot of stuff out of its original packaging because the packaging itself ended up taking up more room than the things that were inside. I took out my ovulation strips, some excess toothpaste we had, tampons, and I think that's it. And then there was only one paper towel left in that thing, so gonna get rid of that as well. But you guys, that is going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure to do so down below because we upload videos like these every single Wednesday, Sunday, and occasionally on Mondays. Everyone, don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next vlog, my friends. I'll see you later. Later, bye. It never rains in California. The sun is always shining bright. People are smiling, making plans, hiding behind their shades, and you're doing.